Hi, welcome to IT Maintainer. My name is Yong Alphen. Talk about web blockchain AI. And we are why I'm talking about this framework is called Encore. It's very good for your side project. You want to write something with GoLand and build it at your prototype. And I think that we are why I didn't talk much about Go until recently. Some viewer on my channel they suggest. Can I bring more content about Go? And why not? I, I feel Go is simple and easy to learn. And I feel fun when working with our IBI. So that's why I want to share with you a humor, a modern, simple, flexible IBI framework. And the first thing I want to get to the point is this is a micro framework, which means it's very small and easy to learn. At the time I record this video, it got about 736 star. So it's quite good from a framework, especially the micro framework. So what is the goal of this project? It will be the backend framework for sure for a Go developer. And they're going to help you prevent common mistakes, help you document how to create API for you. It's by on Open API G11 and is a schema. And why humor? So why this different between a lot of projects right now out there? And let's take a look about this one. For me, the first when I check out the readme here, the documentation here, the person ready is a good selling board. Whenever you want to try something and they say don't try this on production, which means that is a tricky thing and try it with your side project is okay. But this one is present ready and it's, it's already proven and you in on last success company and product with million customer and it's already for years. So which means this is a good tool for you. You want to consider something new for your next project human is a good way. And the compatibility the, the human flow standard. So it be on top of industry standard like OpenAI, decent schema. And you can follow the readme here, but I don't want to go to detail here. But only a few things I want to point out. Like this this is a very good decision about this Micro framework. Is it router or not? It's which mean if you are use some router at your project, you can easily switch to this humor micro framework easily because can you can bring your router and you can easily extend what you need. Look at uh, about this by match here, not and from the owner of this project is from different company and they provide what is the good framework and look at this fiber this is GoLand Chai also GoLand Echo GoLand so Ging also GoLand so a lot of tune here you see and this wire from C this is TypeScript Happy Fast API this Python I made a video last week about Fast API so look at this one all the top framework are written in Go. So if you want something new, good, and easy to learn, I consider maybe Go is also a good choice for you. And this is the, the benchmark between the version. Right now, version 2 is the latest version at the time I made the video. And this is a thing I really love about this one. The, they had a document about design first and people often asking you should go with design first or code first and this comparison is often is a far one which means by on this framework I feel I'm agreed with the author. You can do it at the same time. Like you can design the schema, write something, stop, continue with the code first and this generate the documentation for you and Look at this here. So 
you can you humans to generate skeleton to design the aspect and you review and you can continue add that either design first and when 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 you agree with your design you get good at review and you think all member on your team agree about your ABI design you continue implementation at what you want and at that time you, you keep going with the general schema design you also had another loop about the review about your design and it's totally fine i i totally agree and then at the end you can have both the design both our code first at the same time and here this is assemble all right for today i created a demo it's called human demo so I look about the overview of this process, what it brings to the table. So, so if you want to try this on your machine, at least you have version one point twenty, the Golang version. And I you burn at the tool because I want to get the right API client and and beyond that I you burn to run the touch free file. And on your machine, you can use any tone you want, and I would get like all start with this one. It's free, so you can try on your Linux and Mac OS, and it's very fast. And has the tool I I also this all of them. I already made the video about them. It's a very good tool for you. You can run your testing with parts, and you run it from your CLI, and you see the result. So when you want to see the, the demo here, I already has the deployment version. So if you click on the link on the demo, this will open a new page. And this, this is the documentation. It auto get right by on your IBI. You don't need to write any live code here. You just write your IBI. And this will generate the documentation. And for example, here this this why I just click on the send request, and this is the respond, and here this um, if you look on the network tab right now. One more time, you see here, so it's, it's send a request, and they get the respond. So this is the respond from ABI, and you can get the within like ninety minutes, and you see here this what is sending the open the network tab the same thing you're gonna see this is sending and this response and the good thing they the schema here the schema here you when you open this at the line it will show you the using schema for the response objects so we say what what it does, what the message, what the example of this one, what the required view. So if someone says something like missing something, and you see is you cannot because this is required view. Similarly, so this is a post -re quick re review, and it respond okay with return two zero one. So let's say press here, send request, and you see this and no respond return, and if I when it empty and send request you're gonna return the error and this is schema and if you want to see as we explain why the, the schema for the case it failed validation so this the standard we return on 22 and this we say you need to have the auto on the body you need to have that rating on the body too so and so let's say human demo send request. So you see now it's it's it say this is this is not a valid decent object. Okay, this has come Now it say you need to have the right thing, so you need to have the right thing for you. And at this time you if you don't see 
what is the right thing here? The right thing is as meant to be a number between one and five. So if I write in this, so if we say the number less than five. All right. So now I send another review. And on the guest or review, we, we can get all the, the review and we, we just try. So this is the result of the demo. And how about the suit cost? Let's see it, how it looks like. This is the report I recloned on my side. So the first thing you want to see, this is the, the Mac file. The Mac file, it would be good quite to help someone to go to the project and you see all the things here. And you can highlight. If I go to the root of project, may have, and you're going to see this is all the other command we can have, like make dev to run the application in dev mode or tidy to update all the process dependency or run the test, for example. If you run my test, you're going to see this run the API and or I can run the dev. So this moment here is say the, the server you are returning or I can run my test up here. So I can run the test reports here. So it will run the end to end testing with first. You see here, this is the file. So let's look on about the server. So we had one file from main go. This is the entry point for the project. So this you can define what the, the package. What the library you're using, what the root thing you're using, then there's the option and all the when you de decide the, the model you define here is you're gonna write the schema for you. So, for example, when you read the, the endpoint, the root endpoint, and you can decide what it is the summary, the text for this endpoint. And when it's returned, what is the default status? And and you can see this. Okay. Or similarly, when you want to design the grid thing with a name, you can similarly you can define a pass here. This this is the way you send the name as a parameter on the URL with the method you get. And this is the ID. So you can get the message and you return the response. And on the education purposes, I just met the simple version like you just had a review and you create post review, you just put to the array. So to amend the result to array and that's it. And then or get a review, you just get all the review in the arrays. And this is the, the way you define rules. You can use any router you want and bring here and follow me along but gonna see the this pattern a lot are you local compose and you traffic and the procedure for you so when I do the docker image and I can access to this here the UL so for example if I run this at this moment I create one instance uh, one image and when I run this image and it's to start post ATA ATA and that's if you click on the this link is one this is the, the current one on my local machine. So you don't see any result here. But if I Docker file, so this this is a Docker file. So you see, if I open this so this right now is asset different domain. So if I asset dot here, the same thing you see, this is my API running in, in a Docker container. And the result is the same. You, we can see here if you send API and compile on a terminal. 
So this this is one we don't need. And if we send a request here and get a re send a re for the review and get all the reviews, so it's the same. It's quite useful. So with, with this technique, you you can do a lot of good things. And then when you're ready, you can you you fly your like this one. Just you fly to your line and deploy well Docker image to the your production. So this is pretty much I can want to share with you. But if you want to learn more, the next topic I'm gonna share about how we can use the IBI to get the right client. So look at this one. This is a client. And another client, this is test trip. And if I this is test trip project, I don't burn the index here. This is connect to the server and get the result. And I can show you one more let's say. Now this is a con review away. And get our review. Now one more time. So you see here this is the that thing and we can get all the result from the API. So to the topics I only focus on the server side. The, if you feel interesting up uh, wow well, how we can utilize the API by on the open API and we can get a right tire in GoLang also here. Yeah. This is the server side. And you, you're gonna see this this auto conversion. So you so let's let's say this is another sample like else. So you can see this yes. So you, you're gonna see the similar same thing and you can get a feeling about how we can use API to get a, generate client and whenever the team upright something, you can get a result. And at no more. I often send the resource links at the bottom of readme and you can check out why it's important, like how you can use this one, how you can get the right doc for your API and how you can interact with IBM from CLI. All right, thank you everyone. If you have any comment or feedback about this content, let me know in the, in the comment section. Thank you, see you next week, bye bye.